Hey, what's going on everyone? Dev the Michigander here coming at you from Mackinac Island and we are here to explore. We just got off the boat. Actually, we're getting off the boat right now. They brought us over here and it was pretty cool because they made us go underneath the Mackinac Bridge. I have not been on Mackinac Island in quite some time. It's actually been years since I've been on this island. It's very beautiful. When you get on the island, you can actually come over here and rent some bikes, which we're doing right now. people do this vlog and bike at the same time. Well, we just got done with a two and a half hour bike ride. Now we're gonna try to find something to eat. There's a lot of restaurants around here, so we're gonna try to find something. We're looking at the menu right now. All right, that was a strikeout on the first restaurant, um, but I would recommend if you guys do come out to Mackinac Island, uh, come out here early because it got packed pretty, pretty fast. So if you can get out here early enough, I'd get out here super early uh, and ride bikes first, obviously. Uh, I could ride the bikes, get that out of the way because that takes up a lot of the time, especially if you try to ride around the whole island. And riding bikes is about $12 per person. Uh, that's for the out, like for an hour. So it all depends. You pay when you come back. So it depends on how long you are out on the bikes. And they got two seated bikes and carriages for kids that you can haul behind your bike. So it'd be interesting to check out if you ever come to Mackinac Island. Check out this beautiful hotel. It sits right along the beach. These hotel rooms are kind of pricey. They're up there. And if you notice, all the bikes, there's actually horse carriages too. Um, there is no vehicles on Mackinac Island. No vehicles are allowed on it, and they do not have any on it. So you have to travel by bike or by a horse carriage. And in the winter, they travel by a snowmobile. Hey everyone, Future Def here. I just wanted to actually correct myself right here and say that there actually are some vehicles on Mackinac Island, uh, but they're only emergency vehicles. I think there's one ambulance maybe two cop cars and a fire truck. Uh, don't quote me on that, but there are vehicles on Mackinac Island. This is just a beautiful place to come hang out with the family. Alrighty, well we stopped off at uh, Mary's Bistro and we actually just got our food team. All right, so my entree has came. I got the pulled pork grilled cheese. I wouldn't do that, so it's not That looks amazing. Oh my, you would. Can't wait to dig in. All right. Alright guys, we just got done eating at Mary's Bistro, and I gotta say, if you guys are in Mackinac Island, anytime, I recommend that place. It is very delicious and very good. 
But now we are out walking around doing a little bit of shopping, but we are going to stop off at a butterfly house and explore inside the butterfly house. We've been here before and we just want to recheck it and see how it's grown and developed over the few years we have not been here. So let's go check this out. There is an historic fort on this island. It's called Fort Mackinac. And actually, you can actually walk up there and actually go inside of it. It is a separate fee, but we've done enough biking and going up mountains today. We're gonna pass on that. Now, when you walk around the island, there is a bunch of houses, and most of them are hotels, but some of the other ones are private um, properties uh, that people actually live here, either just during the summer or even all year round. So, and I've heard it's quite expensive to live on this island. I don't know if I could live without a car, honestly. Let me know down in the comments if you could live life without a car and ride a bike everywhere. And just remember, Michigan, we get some pretty bad winters. This is where we are headed. Butterfly and insect world. Up this hill. Oh man, not another hill. Oh, it's not that far, it's right over there. And that's where I just came from. If you guys want to know where this butterfly house is, just walk straight down the main path until you reach this big church. And you'll see the sign. You just walk up this path and walk over there. It's just a little butterfly house building, but it's fun for the whole family. Alrighty guys, we have made it inside the butterfly house. They just have a map here showing you where all the butterflies are located and from. It shows you all the ones from America. And it shows the incredible monarch migration. Because we actually released a bunch of monarchs at our house this past year. If you guys find monarchs, you should help them out. I've heard they're an endangered species, so help them out. And over here they have like a display of all the chrysalisks that they have. And you can see there's actually some butterflies that have actually come out of their chrysalis and have formed like look at these big ones. I like these ones. You kind of look like an owl. Now we're walking in. Wow. Whoa. Right in the face. Beautiful. Uh, this butterfly house is very active compared to some of the other ones I have been to, like the one at the Detroit Zoo. Very active. This is simply awesome. They got, they got beautiful flowers they can eat. Now I do got flowers on my hat, so let's see if we can get one to land. Whoa, there's a floating close by. Alright, there's one on my hat. There was one that flew on my hat. They must like the hat. I like this. This is just peaceful. Just sit here and look at all the butterflies. You guys can't see them, but they're out of just out of frame. And there's like a whole bunch just flying around, like like that right there. You saw that? This is awesome. Whoa! Look, there's one on my hat. Now 
have to say this is probably the best butterfly house experience I've ever had in a long time. And if you guys do plan on coming to Mackinac Island, um, this is a must thing to do. And I will put their information down in the description for you guys so you guys can check it. I got a butterfly on me. See, and if you come in here and you stay for a little bit, you are guaranteed a butterfly to land on. So be sure to check down. All the information will be in the description for any place I go here today. And I also like how they have like these things around here giving you uh, some information about butterflies. But I will tell you, it is quite hot in here. And that's probably a good reason for that. But butterflies is the only thing they have. They have something called Insect World, and we're gonna go probably check that out as we walk out. One last gander at this amazing place. It's so beautiful. I like. We should just. You know, I should just build one of these in my backyard and put butterflies in it. Let them go. This would be awesome. Just amazing. Like look at these. Look, butterflies just chilling, collecting pollen, drinking nectar from flowers. Just simply amazing. I mean, just check out all these butterflies. They're everywhere. And they hand you a sticker when you complete the butterfly. And now we're going into the bugs. Now we have entered the bug exhibit part. And they have some taxidermied bugs up here. Showing you different species. Different species of spider. Look, there's a leopard gecko. You got a bearded dragon named Falcor. A never ending story. Hi, Falcor. Say hello to Dusty. Check out those grasshoppers. This one's name is Sammy. He's a lot bigger than he appears on camera. Now I will say it once and I'll say it again. That was probably the best butterfly experience ever. So just yeah, just make sure you check it out down in the description. Um, now we're gonna go check out this older church. Uh, we walked by it a couple times. And we thought, hey, it's open. Why not go look inside and see the beauty of this church? Well, that was pretty awesome to go inside that church. I like seeing the architecture and just the atmosphere of the church up in there. It's pretty beautiful to see all that artwork. If you want to check it out, go ahead. There's a couple other ones on here uh, on this island that you can check out as well. They're very open to it. You can just go in and see the beautiful architecture. Now I think we're going to actually walk over to the Grand Hotel that is on Mackinac Island and show you around there. I don't believe we can go in. I think it's guests only. I, you can get a tour probably, but uh, pr that probably costs a little bit of money. So we're going to go over and check out the Grand Hotel. This is the main part of Mackinac. Does anybody think it rec uh, resembles when you first walk into the Magic Kingdom at Disney World? I kind of get the same vibes. Here's the only grocery store on the island uh, for all of the people that actually live on the island. And here's the Grand Hotel of Mackinac Island. It's a pretty beautiful hotel. It's fancy. Uh, we will not be going inside of it today because it actually costs $10 to actually go inside if you're not a guest. But you can mark my words, one day we will stay at the Grand Hotel on Mackinac Island. I will promise you guys that and I will bring you guys along for that when it happens because it's going to happen. But right now we're going to go find the hidden gardens around here and we're going to try to get a different perspective of the hotel and show you how big it actually is. Wow, they even got actually bike rentals down here. So if you're getting tired of walking, go over and rent a bike for a couple of hours. It's like 12 bucks. They have all, they have um, bike rentals all around the island as well. And walking around the hidden gardens around here, they actually, we actually came across a topiary of a horse-drawn carriage. Look, there's the horse. Here's the carriage, and it's right in front of the Grand Hotel. That's pretty awesome. Also, as we were walking, came across this fancy fountain, also right in front of the Grand Hotel. And this hotel is just beautiful. And did you know the Grand Hotel it actually holds 
the record for the world's longest porch. Oh, that's pretty sweet. And also, if you've ever seen the movie Somewhere in Time, it was actually filmed right inside there. That's awesome. Even though we're not going into the Grand Traverse Hotel, it's still pretty cool to just walk around these trails. Now, when I was talking about how the, that was a secret garden up there, I was actually wrong. Because we, if you walk around, um, you'll find these trails and it leads you here. An actual secret garden. Now this is pretty darn sweet. Like, look at all these flowers. Like you would never even know this was here because there's actually literally a path right there. But it's covered up by all this foliage and bushes and trees that you would never see it. You'd walk right by it. Even on that side, where we were walking, we walked right by it. You'd never know it was here. But this is pretty darn cool. I mean, just take a look at this. Look at all these beautiful flowers and these nice rocks you can walk on. Look, they even got a little bridge and some benches. If you find this place, you can just come out here and chill and have a great time. Look at all these beautiful flowers. Wow, these are some bright flowers. I'm surprised there's no butterflies in here. That's pretty cool. Alrighty guys, now I think we are done exploring the island for today and we're gonna head back on our uh, we're gonna head back on our ship to get back to the hotel, check into the hotel. And then we might explore uh, Mackinac City tomorrow, but we're not done yet. I'm gonna show you the boat ride and then possibly the sunset here because we I can see both the sunset and the sunrise now because I'm at both Lake Huron and Lake Michigan so that'd be pretty cool ship has arrived we are getting ready to board ship lords. this is a pretty fun boat oh from the look of it we might not make it on pick our seats right here Oh. It's a very bumpy ride. Alrighty everybody, well we made it back to the hotel from Mackinac Island and we had such a wonderful time. Um, if you guys are ever there, I'm sorry I'm being quiet, it's quiet time in the hotel. If you guys are ever in the area, you have to visit Mackinac Island. It is a wonderful place to visit. I'll put everything that we did down in the description and more so you can plan your trip to Mackinac Island next year or because you have up until Labor Day. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. It makes me feel good. And if you're new here, remember to subscribe because you'll never miss a video if you subscribe. So with that being said, I want you guys to get your foot out the door and explore. I'll see you guys in the next one.